today we will discuss value added tax on digital services this is the screenshot from the notice of inland revenue department where it says that it notifies to the non-resident person who are providing digital services to nepali consumer that they will be taxed under this provisions uh, tax for uh, direct tax as dst digital service tax and indirect tax as value added tax vat this is the newspaper uh, cutting uh, from the Kathmandu post which says that digital services provided by foreign firms to be taxed from tomorrow digital service providers such as youtube facebook twitter netflix and others will have to register in nepal so first we'll discuss what is going to be taxed here digital services provided by non residents to any consumer fulfilling any of the condition will be taxed so services received within nepal by the consumer of course invoice issued at any address in nepal so uh, any non resident person if has issued invoice in nepal's address payment made through bank account nepal's bank account or any any such authorized entity such as uh, cooperatives or any other uh, financial institutions payment made through credit cards or debit cards issued by nepal's bank service received by using any ip address within nepal service received by using nepal's sim card or telephone these are text we'll discuss some definitions some some very very important definitions such as non resident person who is non resident person here persons having not having actually not having permanent address business representative or legal representative for transaction in nepal so uh, the pe if the business has permanent establishment pe or a branch office in nepal they will not covered by this provision rather they will pay the normal taxes applicable to them and this is applicable to only those persons who do not have permanent address in nepal and we'll go the definition of consumers so who are the consumers consumers is any person who consumes goods or service having permanent residence in nepal so consumers should be resident of nepal and receiving the services or goods from the non resident person but it will not cover the purchases or services purchases made for the purposes of business so for the services purchased for business houses they will be covered under section 82 of vat act which is reverse charge of vat and now the important definition what is digital service so digital service are the following services provided to the consumer by using information technology or internet so what are the services counted here advertisement services yeah google and facebook are providing such services membership subscription of ott like netflix data collection services cloud yeah cloud services gaming services and mobile application related services online marketplace related services software supply and upgradation data picture download services consultancy or training services or any such related services applicability of value added tax vat on 
digital services so section 3 will deal with the applicability the basic rate of VAT is 13% in Nepal but if non-resident person is providing annual transaction less than 2 million or 20 lakh rupees during last 12 months or you can consider it annual transaction uh, they will not be charging uh, this tax to the consumers so so non-resident person who is dealing whose annual transaction is more than 20 lakh rupees or 2 million rupees they will have to pay DST DST direct tax or indirect tax let's discuss with an example how the tax will be computed suppose transactional value of service is 100 rupees VAT which is the indirect tax will be computed on this 100 rupees and the total amount will be 113 the non-resident person will collect suppose Facebook is charging advertisement fee to any cost consumer in Nepal then it will have to collect 113 rupees from the person who is advertising through Facebook and 13 rupees shall be paid to the Nepalese government and 100 rupees will be the profit of the Facebook and in this 100 rupees 2 rupees DST that is direct tax or income tax shall be paid by the Facebook to the Nepalese government 